Yo, yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keefling, welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing something different. We're not making games. Making games? We are making something that will play games. Today. Actually, not really today, because not all my parts have arrived. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you guys what I have right now. But my CPU cooler, as well as my PC case, has not arrived yet. Which is kind of irritating. But it might arrive today or tomorrow. So realistically, the actual build will be tomorrow. But you guys won't know because you're just watching one whole video. But um, anyway, I'm just going to talk about the things I have right now. I'm going to do this really systematic because I want to make sure that I, I uh, take this first PC building experience very seriously. And I think it's very awesome. It's a wonderful thing. So basically, guys, what we have here, I'm just going to be showing you. Let me tell you, first of all, that the budget I used in the title, I'm kind of a scam. I'm kind of a fraud. It's actually excluding the graphics card. This graphics card was bought last year by myself. It's not part of this PC build at all, realistically, because I did not buy this in this budget. If I was to buy a GPU part of this budget, it would take up most 75% of the actual budget because you can't find any GPUs that are less than about $900 or you can, but not a good top of the grade ones nowadays because of the GPU miners. I was forced to buy this GTX 1080 G1 gaming for about 800 or 900 USD back in last 2018. It might be around now, June something last year. And I spent so much money on this that when I look back at the price this year, it's actually depreciated a lot. It's depreciated by more, mostly 40 or 50 percent. This is actually worth about 600 or 500 dollars now. I'm pretty sure it's 600 dollars. So look at the price: 300 or 200 dollars difference. It's a lot. It's, it's ridiculously a lot of money, and I'm pretty fed up. I'm honestly pretty angry. But that's just something I'm gonna have to live with, I guess. It's just a regret that you're all gonna have to live with. Live with, not live with. That's not a word. First, I'm gonna start with the power supply. The PSU, this guys is a Corsair RM750i power supply. This is modular, which means that I only use the cables that I need and the things I don't need, I can put them back in the box. Compared to the one I'm using now in my current PC, it's non-modular, meaning that all the cables are actually set and built in while it was made in the factory. So the ones that I'm not using, it's kind of inside there and it's gonna have to, it's gonna block all my uh, my cable management. It looks, looks, looks pretty bad, guys. Yeah. So going on next, we have the motherboard, the motherboard which is the ASUS or ASUS or ASUS ROG Strix Z370F gaming motherboard. Awesome motherboard. One of the best motherboards, especially for gaming. Um, it's awesome. It's it's wonderful. If you guys would like to look at the back, take a pause and look at it. I'll, I'll of course show this in close depth. I have three cameras, including this over there, one over there, one to show my actual building in different sides so that this would be an awesome process. Anyway, this is it. This is an awesome motherboard. That's all I have to say for this motherboard. Next down we have the DRAM. Oh, I could just say RAM. D is just dynamic. But RAM in general is a G-Skill Triton Z RGB RAM. This actually is a matter of fact, a fact for you out there guys, a fun fact. This is one of the first RGB RAMs ever introduced. I think it was last year or two years ago, but it's one of the first and it's an awesome RAM. I could have bought the Corsair of Engines, but it's kind of the practically the same thing, really. So I just, you know, yeah. Going on to SSD, I have the Samsung 860 EVO 500 gigabytes SSD. I'm not using one SSD. You're not going to use only one SSD. I have another SSD inside my uh, PC that I'm using right now, as well as a hard disk, which is, I think, one terabyte in my PC, my current PC, which is, won't be my current anymore, because by the time you're watching this, the new one is my current. My old PC has a SSD as well as one hard drive. So that's just putting that out there. Gonna be awesome. As well as my processor. I don't know why I just handled it like that. This is a very fragile as well as this. This is the Intel Core i7 8700K processor. Awesome processor, one of the best. If this could be overclocked, which is why I need a CPU cooler. Let me clear out something here, guys. Processors need CPU coolers in general, so don't think that you only need them if you're overclocking them. That's wrong. I made a mistake in not clearing that out. So just keep that in mind. So I will get that tomorrow, but, or today, I don't know when these guys will give it to me. I'm, this is the unlocked version, which is kind of the only ones they sell, I think. I'm pretty sure they also sell the locked version, but I don't know why you'll need a locked version if you can just get the unlocked version. That's kind of pointless. 
But basically, that's really it. That's the, really that's all we got right now. Um, my motherboard, my motherboard, my uh, my CPU cooler cells, my PC case will be out today or tomorrow. Not out. What am I talking? Like a Fortnite update is coming out. All of the stuff here, guys, is actually listed in pcpartpicker.com there is a link in the description below go click that link if you want to see all the parts i've used as well as their common prices in general um in amazon or newegg or something and any 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 website that you use i did buy these here everything in the desk right now i bought all of these in australia so the prices were a little cheaper there did not want to do that <laughs> uh, the prices were a little Okay, the prices were a little cheaper there, which was a really good thing for me because I just have to spend less on my budget. But if you guys are wanting to buy something, ask me, I might give you an actual place to buy this from online, really, because all the prices here are everywhere and fluctuating all the time because of these GPU miners then again. It's because of them, it's always because, blame those guys. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that um, PC Part Picker, check it over there. If you guys have any questions or any things to say about my building, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to get um, advice given by you guys, any fan orientations or something like that, anything you want me to do with the case or anything you want me to do with the RGB or something like that, any cool effects, please tell me down in the description, in the comment section below, not the description, because you can't access the description, only I can. So um, that's basically, this is too lengthy. This, I should really go, yeah, I'm just gonna go and build this. Peace, bros.